turns and gets a little awkward gated at times. Three, such a hoot. Two more Village Joe. Then Whistler Hanover, another two and a half Yankee Cam. The JB's Lion King and Medivacent. Opening quarter, 26 and two. Sizzling first fraction for wrestling Matt. Leads it three. Jeremy's Gambit second, then it's another three back. Such a hoot. Four more, Village Jove, then two, Whistler Hanover. Two and a half Yankee Cam with JB's Lion King, Matt Everson trails. They approach the ham and it's wrestling Matt and Silverman with length and have lead. Jeremy's Gambit in the pocket. Well, then it's such a hoot in third. Village Jove to the outside, fourth. Half, 54 seconds. Wheel onto the far turn. And wrestling Matt with a length lead. Jeremy's Gambit sits second. Such a hoot. First over in third. Then it's Village Jove up on the rim fourth with JB's Lion King. Nowhere to go fifth. They approach three quarters. And it's such a hoot. Hanging right to wrestling Matt. Three quarters and one, 22 and four. They come to the top of the stretch. On the inside, it's such a hoot up on the outside. Here comes Village Jove. And it's Village Jove in front by a length and a half. Jeremy's Gambit closing in, in deep stretch. Village Jove trying to hold up Jeremy's Gambit. It's Village Jove and Paul McNeil in front in 149 and four. The brother to millionaire Village Jiffy becomes only the seventh three-year-old to break 150. McDonnell said his weird gate cost him last week when he was DQ'd, but he still would have driven him if he had made the final over Jasper. He was ready for this big mile tonight, and he pulls it off the mile of his life, 149 and 